So now uh, in AP Calculus BC, we also have to talk about arc length for parametrics. Um, and actually can even be extended to vectors uh, since vectors are just another way of writing parametrics. Uh, and I think it's important you kind of see where this comes from as well. So in rectangular form, the previous video just talked about how we could find arc length by accumulating, doing the integral of the lengths of little tiny pieces, which are found with the square root of one plus the derivative squared with respect to x, or I can change it to be with respect to y. And if I wanted to do this in parametric, I need to do some rearranging of things in my integral. So I'd have the integral, and I'm going to ignore the bounds for right now. And in parametric form, dy dx is found by doing dy dt over dx dt. Well, I am, if I then go ahead and add this, so I deal with one fraction inside instead of a whole number plus a fraction, I need a common denominator, which would be dx dt squared. So I have the integral, I'd have dx dt squared over dx dt squared. And I'm adding on the dy dt squared. And this is all with respect to x. I'm then going to break up my radical to take the square root of the top and the square root of the bottom. So that gives me the integral on top. I have the square root of dx dt squared plus the dy dt squared all inside my radical, as I said. On the bottom, it's just dx dt. And because I'm dealing with length, it should be a positive square root. But then I have dx divided by dx dt. The dx's cancel out. And what I'm left with is this. One thing I want to say about the bounds up here in rectangular, A and B were the bounds with respect to X. Down here, A and B are the bounds with respect to T. So these are T values right here. So make sure you're using T values since you're with respect to T. So an example of this, uh, if I'm given the parametric function, here, x equals cosine cubed of t, y equals sine cubed of t from, on the interval from 0 to 2 pi. And I want to find the length of this. Well, I need the x dt, which would be 3 cosine squared. And then I have a negative sine because of chain rule. And I need the y dt, which will be 3 sine squared, and then a cosine because of the chain rule. So then my length is the integral. t goes from 0 to 2 pi. So the square root dx dt squared plus dy dt all squared with respect to t. And saving time and doing this on my calculator, this turns out to be 6. And there is length using parametric functions.